Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. Um, I've decided to go with the uh, another Dodge Charger. I love the Dodge Chargers. Um, it's not that I just love them so much I want to do a bunch of them. It's just I find cool cars that I just think are nice looking. I got a good design on it. The colors are right. And a lot of them just happen to be a Dodge Charger. So, um, a lot of times I don't even know that when I pick it out, I just like, oh, that's a cool car and I grab it. This one is a 1971 Dodge, Char Dodge Charger Custom. So there you have it there. And it's got some silver on the side. It does have a little black in it, but it's mostly this purple and silver. And, uh, this is also another one of those machines two or m2 uh cars the one i did last night started on last night was also an m2 car but it was in more of a box instead of like the like the hot wheels uh, on the cardboard but uh so what i'm going to do is uh naturally it's a 10 by 20 canvas and it's going to be metallic purple which i'm going to use artist loft metallic purple and uh, that I get that at Michael's and <clears throat> and then the silver that I'm going to use just is just master's touch silver uh, which I get at Hobby Lobby um, I've already got silver mixed um, I didn't grab the the tube of paint to show you but it's it's just artist loft so all I've got to do is mix the paints and uh, level my canvas and we'll get ready to go all right, I got the paints mixed. It didn't take long. I basically only had to mix one color, so. And as always, I measure my canvas, or measure. I level my canvas, boy. It's been a long day. Interesting day at work, though, today. So, things just happening. Some was humorous, uh, some sad, some. And when I mean sad, not like, someone died or anything like that or just you know just sad i won't go into it but so i've got it leveled the reason you want it leveled because if you when it's drying if it's leaning you know if it's off this way it'll slide the paint will just slide off i've lost a couple of paintings a really good ones one was like just a really really heartbroken on the one that I had on a 12 by 12 it just looked spectacular and then I came in the next morning and <clears throat> the majority of it was gone uh yeah I'm still upset about it as you can tell so it's it's level so when it dries nothing will run off the patterns you have on there will stay there and uh, that's what you want you don't we don't need surprises in the morning when we come in to look at it and I generally come back in and look at it in the morning some mornings I don't depends on how rushed I am to get to work So one of the funny things, I guess I could tell you this, uh, at work was, uh, there was an employee there, been there a number of years, and I know it was over 10 years, uh, was separated from the company, that's how the term they use, they sent out a separation email, they never explained what happened, why they're separating from the company, if it was voluntary or involuntary, so I really don't know. The reason why this person was 
now separated with our company. I would guess it was not um, it was not something he was really looking to do, like putting in his notice. Because we have an you know a work email and uh, they did not they did not um, close off his email before he sent out a few emails <laughs> which I won't go into what they said or anything but it was quite humorous so and uh of course and what's what i find humorous is that one they didn't you know cut his access off to our our work email but he sent an email first email in the morning or i think it was in the morning i well i i didn't really look at it i he might have sent it the night before i think somebody said But that they didn't turn it off, and then that afternoon he sent another one, <laughs> and uh, that's about the time that uh, he was cut off, and they actually deleted the, you know, deleted the email, <laughs> but not before a bunch of us read them, <laughs> which it. Yeah. I know a lot of people, a lot of you people out there don't really know me except for, you know, if you're watching my videos and stuff, you might, I do have a sense of, I have a very good sense of humor. Uh, it's one of the things my wife loves about me. I, she laughs all the time and no, she's not laughing at me. I have a dry, sometimes sarc sarcastic sense of humor, uh, but I do have a pretty good sense of humor. So I find humor in a lot of things. A lot of things make me funny that probably don't make a lot of other people think are funny, but I do. It's, but uh, I found this very amusing today. So, <laughs> so that's, and I'm still chuckling about it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that was one of the humorous things, and it was also a sad thing that that was mostly the sad thing because, um, you know, he's a he's a friend of mine, um, and so sad to see if if he wasn't from the gist of the emails, um, really uh, didn't look like he was, you know moving on of his own choice that's just my guess but uh so that's the sad thing that was the sad thing was that uh you know now he's without a job and he has a wife and kids and i just hope he does well I see him out. I'd rarely see him outside of work, but. And he has bought some paintings of mine. I actually did one for him for Christmas, a Hot Wheels one. It was the. I do not have a video of it because that's before I started doing the videos, but. Uh, um. It was of a, it was a VW bus or the van, and it was a beach scene because she, his wife loves the beach and she loves the VW vans, and so it was a beach scene. You know the, the sand, the water, and uh, 
the bus going across. I actually put the bus on the side because I wanted to see the, the, I think I had flowers on it, you know, psychedelic type of thing. And I did a psychedelic colors out. And then I actually did a, a peace sign in the psychedelic exhaust. It's, it's quite, uh, quite interesting. So, but so he she got that for Christmas, and they they had bought at least I think at least one other one. So, and they might have bought some more than that. I'm not sure. Um, I think they showed up to one of my vendor events, and so. Oh. Stuck my finger in purple paint. Wouldn't you know it. But anyway, so. Again, that's the sad part. Just need to. Excuse me, I think it's all black I want to put in. I just add a little more silver because I want more silver to show through than just that blackish almost look gray, which I don't really want gray. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the side of the car and it's kind of splattered pattern. Uh just say Mopar on it. I'm not gonna spell Mopar in there. But uh
All right, so I think that's the pattern I'm gonna go with. Might tweak it just here and there, but. I think that's what I'm going to leave it with. So we'll let this uh, this one dry, and then we can get uh, get the resin on it, place that car in it, and finish another piece. All right, this bad boy is dried. I've got it taped on the back. Um, this is a 10 by 20 canvas. I have seven ounces of resin. I actually have 14 because I'm doing another one at the same time. Um, this one's just a recover on the other one. So I've got the car ready. Um, as usual, I've, I've looked up the... Well, I already knew it, but I looked up the... <clears throat> amount of resin by using the art resin calculator so I know it's seven ounces because I've done a lot of these and that's just about All right maybe just a little bit more I don't need a whole seven ounces for the other one because it's basically just covering up a few spots that didn't do very well. So. get this one covered and then do the other one before I take my glove off so I need to keep my glove on to do the other side the other other one So I've got that other one covered. I'm gonna do this one first by blowing out the bubbles with the torch and get the car set in and then I'll work in the other one. Off camera. Okay. So I just finished up a commission piece. And so I'm waiting on the response to see if they like it or not. I did a commission piece last night and it's not dry yet and uh, that one will be a Hot Wheels one. The one I did tonight <coughs> was not. It was just a regular, a regular painting for somebody. So it's really good to get commission pieces done. The one I did for the Hot Wheels one I actually wasn't really nervous about it because it was a painting, it was the style I've done before a number of times. And so 
they pretty much know what they're getting, but the one I did tonight, I've done a couple times, but just the colors and the way it turns out and who it's for, I just want to make sure that it's, it's, uh, what they want. So, and I always tell them to, you know, just be honest. I, it's not going to hurt my feelings enough if you don't like it. I, I just, I want you to have something that you would like. I don't want you to just take it because, you know, you know, trying to be nice and say, oh yeah, that's all right. That's not really what you wanted. So, hopefully they will be able to do that. <clears throat> so, we'll put the car right in there. And there we have it. So, as always, if you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave a comment. I will, I will respond back to you. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I think I'm up to 93 now. I'm trying to hit 100. So, please help with that. And thanks for watching.